Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all some of the things that I got recently in a haul video. It's the end of the summer, so end of summer sales are real right now, okay? And there are a lot of good items that I picked up that I have been wanting to buy for months, but now they're on sale because the summer is ending and we're going into fall, right? There's a lot of things that I've been wanting to purchase that have like been in my shop tagger, chilling, waiting for me to purchase, and then I got the notification that it was on sale and I'm like, boom, bam, need to get it now. First of all, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Shop Tagger is like life, okay? If you guys don't know what Shop Tagger is, it is a website where you can save items that you really want to purchase to different lists um, based on like season or types of clothing or whatever. Um, and you can like make wish lists and then that account updates you. It sends you emails um, and notifications letting you know when stuff goes on sale. So every day when I check my email, I see notifications from Shop Tagger telling me which items I have saved to my wish list that are on sale currently that I need to purchase now. It kind of just like reminds me of things that I really, really wanted and I leave it there and then when it goes on sale, I can purchase it. If it goes out of stock and I really, really wanted it and I'm waiting for it to come back in stock, it'll let me know when it comes back in stock. So it's really helpful and I've talked about Shop Tagger a couple times before, but I wanted to mention it again because a lot of the stuff that I have here was in my Shop Tagger and I waited for it to go on sale and as soon as I saw the notification in my email, I was like, let me get it now. So yes, I will be showing you guys some of the things that I had in my Shop Tagger, but I will be sure to include a little demo of how you can download Shop Tagger and enjoy your shopping as much as I do. So what you're gonna do is go to shoptagger.com and you're going to sign up or sign in. I am going to sign in because I already have my account. And in my account, I just have all of the things that I've been loving lately, all the things that I want, the things that I wanna be reminded of. I get email notifications for all of these things as they go on sale and come back in stock. So in order to get the button, you just click get the button. If you're on your Google Chrome browser, you're going to add this extension to your search bar. So right up at the top by your search bar, you're going to click that button whenever you find something that you like. And then you can add your preferences as far as like what size you need. And you can select what kind of notifications you wanna get. So if you wanna know the price changes, price drops, and then you can add it to any list that you want. So these lists are gonna be saved into your account. And basically you can make different kinds of lists for different things that you like. So I have lists for my shoes, list for my office, list for fall, things that I like, spring, summer, vacay. And then I can share those lists with my friends and family and let them know what I've been loving and checking out. So it's really simple to do. If you wanna download it for yourself, go ahead and check the description box for more info. I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I got from ASOS. I love ASOS. If you guys don't know what ASOS is, it's a website where you can just buy like pretty much anything. They carry a lot of different brands. Uh, and typically sometimes I can find really cool pieces that are different and unique. Yeah, so first things first, I got a couple cool pants. Um, these pants are from ASOS and they are Vera Moda brand. These are some plaid pants. I've been needing some plaid pants, just like some everyday kind of workwear style for church, of course. But I also do like to wear these with like sneakers um, or like platform loafers or something uh, to give it like a little edge, a little edgy vibe. Um, which I do wear to church. I, I do wear my edgy stuff to church, okay? Like, I'm be lit on the front row. Um, the sale that was going on on ASOS, it was like an uh, everything, like 20% off everything, or buy $200 worth of stuff, get $100 off kind of thing. So, um, it wasn't the individual pieces that are on sale. So, if you see some of these pieces linked in the description box and they're not actually on sale, it's because ASOS has like site wide sales. Um, so if you're wondering why some of the stuff is not on sale on the site, it's because it wasn't on sale on the site, it's, the site was on sale. I don't think that makes sense, but whatever. I also got these pants from Boohoo. ASOS does sell Boohoo stuff, but you can also purchase these on the Boohoo website as well. I actually would recommend buying Boohoo stuff on Boohoo's site because Boohoo does have like site-wide sales literally every day. Like they have 50% off everything all the time. And these pants were 50% off. I believe I got these for like 20 bucks. I saw these like a while ago and then I really wanted some sequin pants to wear to an event that I didn't actually wear these, but um, I am gonna wear them soon to something. I don't know what, but I always need like cute stuff to wear to events. So I like these pants. They fit me perfect. They're a size zero, I believe. And this is kind of cute with this crop top that I got on right now. This crop sweatshirt, which by the way is a sweatshirt from Wally World and I cut it. <laughs> this is another ASOS item. 
This is a jacket and I am obsessed with this jacket. I don't know what I'm gonna wear with, but it is so fire. I just needed to have it. It's a vintage jacket. These vintage jackets are like reclaimed vintage and then they run for like $70. I was not going for that price, but when everything was on sale on ASOS, I decided to snag it as quickly as possible because I'm like, I've been wanting this jacket or a jacket like it and I like this one a lot. It has the Mona Lisa on the back and it's camo. And I just think that's so unique and different. I just thought it was cute. It kind of reminds me of the new Beyonce and Jay-Z music video that everybody keeps like reposting on Instagram. They rented out the Louvre, the Louvre, the Louvre in Paris. So this reminds me of that, cause it's Mona Lisa. But now this idea is not really looking like I thought it was gonna look in my head. You ever put together an outfit in your head and be like, that's about to be slamming. And then you get the outfit together and they're like, oh, that doesn't look the way I had intended at all. Okay, <laughs> didn't really come together like I thought it would come together like is this a is this a vibe is it a look is it a look um another item that i purchased was actually in my shop tagger for like three or four months this jumpsuit that i'm currently wearing right now this is a one piece onesie i love onesies they're awesome until you have to pee a little hood on it you know and it zips all the way up like the hood zips all the way up. It can zip all the way up to close in your face. I don't know why you would want to close your face up in your hood, but if you feel in that way, if that's how you feel, go ahead. They have like a lot of different colors, but I ended up getting the gray because I'm basic sometimes and I like stuff that just goes with everything, especially when it's like comfy like this. I want to be able to wear it to the airport and stuff and not really, you know, have to worry about the shoes I'm going to wear with it and all that. Nice and comfortable. And I do plan on wearing this to the airport. But One Piece onesies usually run for about a hundred something dollars. Um, so I waited until this went on sale and I got the sale notification and I immediately purchased it. It was originally like $100, $99, something like that. But I got it on sale for 60. Um, I got these slides. Now these slides are super adorbs. I had been wanting these for about a month. Um, and they are originally like 60 bucks. Wasn't going, okay? Not for no slides. Like these are cute, but they're not 60 bucks worth. But they literally just went on sale and they're still on sale. I linked them in my uh, IG story today uh, because I was so excited about them. Um, it's like this really cute faux fur design. They are um, green and they're actually really comfy. I really like these. I feel like you can dress these up or down. Like I can totally see myself wearing these with like a suit. I'm that kind of person. I'm that girl, okay? They have like a chain design around it. So they look kind of fancy. Originally 60 bucks, but on sale for I believe 38. So not too bad, almost half off. I got some more shoes from ASOS. I got these boots. Now, these are Doc Martens. Doc Martens never go on sale. But like I said, whenever ASOS has a site-wide sale, I try to get the expensive things that I've been wanting because then I can get some money off, whereas I wouldn't be able to get that same amount of money off anywhere else. Um, I love Doc Martens. I don't know about you guys, but I love Doc Martens. I'm a tomboy. You guys know this. I love rugged, edgy stuff. These are rugged and edgy, if not the most rugged and edgy shoe in my collection. But I love them. I wear them literally every day since I got these. I've worn these every day. I don't care if it's not fall yet. I don't care if it's still summer. I don't care if it's too hot. I don't care. These are my new favorite shoe and I wear these every single day. These are the Doc Martin Jaden boots and I just love them. I really feel like I can kick somebody's butt in these boots. Like fight me, try me. I just love them. I love the clunkiness of them. I love the platform as opposed to like the regular Doc Martin boots, like the 1460s. It's like really tight in this like this area right here. It's really tight and I can't do those. So I tried these and these definitely have a lot more give at the top and they have a zipper going down the side. So I don't have to unlace and lace them back up every time I put them on, which is very convenient because I hate lacing shoes. They're great. I actually bought two pair of boots from Doc Martens. So I ordered some from ASOS and then I also ordered some from Zappos. Um, these are the ones from Zappos and they are not the traditional Doc Martens. These are the Leona is the style name, um, but they're basically like a hook boot instead of like just laces. They got little hooks on them. The sole is different. Reminds me kind of of Timberlands. I'm not sure, um, but these are cute. I like these. I decided to order these, but I also decided to order 
another pair. And then whichever pair I don't like, I'm gonna just send the other pair back. Zappos has a really good return policy, free, re free returns. So does ASOS. My inner emo self. I used to be emo at some point in my life. I listened to Paramore. These are like from that phase of my life, <laughs> taking it back to the early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? You know, these remind me of Princess Diaries because she used to wear docks in Princess Diaries. But these are chunkier, a little bit chunkier than the originals. These are a little more stiff on the sides and they hurt when I try to slide my foot in. Vicky, that's because it still has cardboard on the inside. Wow, I can't believe I was putting this shoe on with cardboard in it. Doc Martens are big, they run a size big, so I did get a size eight in both of these. Um, so yeah, I don't know which pair I like better. Instagram told me that I needed these more than I needed those, so that was the decision that I went with. They looked almost exactly the same, but they're very different, so. I felt like I needed these more in my life and I actually am very, very happy with my selection because I love them. So moving on to Nordstrom. At the end of July, they had their anniversary sale. It just ended, so I'm sorry if you missed it. Probably should have like let y'all know. I'll do better next time. I have been on the hunt for a real leather jacket for like forever. I have one that I've had for a while, but it's not my favorite. I wanted a really good quality one. So the Nordstrom anniversary sale ended on Sunday and I literally bought this jacket like right before the sale ended so it ended on Sunday I purchased this on Sunday and picked it up on Monday like I went to the store and picked it up I got it for a hundred and eighty I want to say which is a lot of money for a jacket but if you know what real leather costs you would know that this is a good deal. So this is a Topshop leather jacket. It's a real leather, so it smells like real leather. And it's actually really exquisite. It's very nice. But like the fit of it, I feel like it's very sturdy, you know? I typically don't wear leather jackets unless like I really feel like a New Yorker. Um, Cause New Yorkers wear leather jackets with literally everything. I hope you know that. If you're from New York, you probably have a leather jacket sitting in your closet right now. And you're probably gonna put it on before you leave the house. Don't lie, don't lie to me. I feel like it'll be really cute for the fall time um, when I wanna, you know, just drape a jacket over whatever I have on. I feel like that's always the move is to drape it. Don't wear it, you drape it. Like, you could wear it like this. This is fine or whatever, this is very normal. Um, but the real way to wear a leather jacket is to drape, honey. You always gotta drape it, you know? I think I did a great job with the purchase, you know? So, I feel fancy, okay? Like in the Harlem Shake. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and let me know you wanna see more child hauls, more hauls like this, talking hauls, whatever you wanna see, just let me know what you wanna see. But if you want to know more information about Shop Tiger and want to download it for yourself, be sure to check the description box. I will have a link in there for you guys to download it. It's really, really helpful. It actually helped me save so much money because a lot of this stuff was not the cheapest and I was able to get it on sale. So I think I did a good job. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!